Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yes, today it's going to happen. I'm going to uh, repot my new uh, three new cymbidiums, this one and that one and that one, into semi-hydroponic. And I'm going to follow uh, one of them, so you have an idea how I do that, how I repot them into uh, semi-hydroponics. Uh, actually, self-watering, I should say. But I do have this one in semi-hydroponics and that one as well. This one, I'm sorry. Um, but this setup will be self-watering with basically the same thing. Um, and yeah, we uh, there was at least some uh, some of my subscribers who uh, would like to see the repot. So probably there will be more. And I do repot them so as uh, this one. It has new growth, it ha has also uh, new roots growing. And from here I can also see a flower spike, but it's just starting. So therefore I'm going to repot it now, because I, uh, I uh, think it uh, will be fine. Once again it's, ma it's making new roots and uh, new growth, so it does both at the same time. If it was only making a flower spike I wouldn't repot it. Only if really necessary, in the case of uh, uh, bush snails or something like that but i think they should be fine so uh i'm going to use uh, this bucket here and i have my tripod ready so then you will see why i have this bucket with rainwater here so i will put a camera on this tripod and uh, we uh, will start uh, repotting so here we are and i hope this will work because it is a bit strange setup we are on the floor of my uh, greenhouse, as you probably can see. But um, yeah, these plants are very big and I need a bucket of water. So therefore I need some more room than I have on my uppotting table. So um, yeah, I uh, will start this repot. Well, actually I don't. I see something in the rainwater. Let me grab the camera. This is very, very nice. So I cannot use this water. I will be right back. <laughs> so yeah, I just grabbed a bottle uh, bucket out from outside with rainwater. I had no idea, but look at this, guys. So yeah, we have some sort of type of flies there on the water. That's not the end uh, of the world. But look what's inside there. Oh, the, a lot of glare there. Let me check if I can put my hand above it. Yes, look at that. And of course I don't know the English name, but you probably do. So yeah, I had no idea this little guy was uh, in the water. And it cannot come out, of course, out of the bucket. But it is alive and it is beautiful. So yeah, we will uh, bring this one back into the garden, of course. That's funny. So yeah, a little bit of a change of plans, but um, let me uh, release this guy into the garden, like I said. And then I will be back with new water, fresh water, and we will actually start the uh, repotting. Okay, this is uh, round two. And now I uh, use the RO water. I thought, well, I can use a little bit of rainwater because I had it outside. But yeah, we had a little visitor in there. So uh, I put it outside in the garden. Some fresh water. Anyhow, uh, let's continue. We're going to start to uh, try to at least to get it out of the pot. And see what we're dealing with. I see quite a lot of new root tips. So uh, I'm sorry, I may probably be a few times out of frame because it's a very, uh, on, uh, yeah, not very handy to film this in this setup, but again. But yeah, a, a quite a lot of uh, new root tips. So I'm very uh, confident that this one will, uh, will find its way into the new setup. It's doing so well. They've been growing on so well. So yeah, but they... Uh, a little bit of pot bounce. I'm pushing a little bit on that pot. Try to be as gently as I can, but I need to push it a little bit because, like I said, uh, we have, I think, quite some uh, roots inside of that pot, I believe. Let me see if I can 
take it out, pull it out, no. Squeeze a little bit more, this may take some time. Yeah, unless, at least this part, as it feels, is, uh, has quite a lot of roots. I believe. And it looks very dry as well. Well, I did water it, but it drinks the water very uh, quickly. But it needs the water, of course, with all those spikes coming. Well, at least a few spikes, new growths, new roots. So it's doing everything at the same time, which is okay. But therefore, it needs some more uh, water. Let me check. No. <laughs> that didn't work at well. Maybe I need to cut it, but I did try to save the pot for you never know, but um, maybe there are some holes. No. It doesn't work. Yeah there are some holes, but I cannot push it out. I need to pull it out. Probably. No. Let's see if we can cut the pot with my clippers. Like this. Oops, there we go. Oh yeah, beautiful new roots. Oops, a lot of new roots, you guys. Very thick, so this is a perfect time to do this. So it may not seem the time for, uh, I'm sorry, the time for symbiliums to grow, but I always look at the plants and not what the, what the book says, or general speaking about symbiliums, you should repot them at a certain time. New roots, new growths. That's the best. And if they do flower, make flower spike in that con condition or situation, I uh, repot them as well because I see that they can have it, they can handle it, they're strong enough. If you're not certain, you sh probably should wait. But I have done this so many times, so I now most of the times know what I'm doing. <laughs> most of the times. So yeah, I'm confident enough, like I said, to do this now. But you can always wait, of course. But yeah, where do you wait for? New growths, new roots, and we do have that. And yes, we have flower spikes coming, they may get not as big, but I think this one will be fine. It's doing so well. And it's still... <laughs> still not coming out, oops. I'll try to break the pot, as you can hear. But yeah, and I, there are some roots that did break. That happens, of course. Yes, there it is. Look at that. Some media, <laughs> some media, but a heck of a lot of roots. A heck of a lot of roots. Well, only here. I, don't know you, I hope you can see those lighter points. There are three new growths. New growth. Uh, new root, I'm sorry, new uh, root tips, here, here, there, 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 so yeah, you get the point. <laughs> A lot of new growth on the way, root tips, I'm sorry, and also some new growths, but I now did refer to the root tips. Now let's see how much media we can take off. In this case, I normally never do this, but in this case, with some biddiums I found with the other ones that if I leave some uh, media on there and just a pot them with uh, inorganic media, just put them in a pot like this and fill it up with organic, they will be fine. So it will not start uh, to rot too much. But I always try to take off as much as I can, but I will not completely clean this up. So that's this works a little bit different than the other orchids, for me at least. And it works fine, but so like I said, I'm not going to uh, clean up everything, but I try to get off as much as I can, but 
probably not much in this case because it has such a terrific root system i will not mess it up so there will be quite some inorganic media with i'm sorry organic media with uh, that inorganic media which we normally don't want but in this case with cymbidiums like i said i never had problems and i grow them uh, uh for two years now i think yeah at least two years the big one and that was my first one. I had some videos before this, but th those I did give, give away and I didn't grow them in self-watering, so. But that one is making four flower spikes, two uh, new growths, and uh, each of them do make two spikes. And it's doing great, so. And I saw this before, so I'm pretty uh, confident uh, in doing so. Because you guys, this is not going to work otherwise. So I try to pull off. So yeah, this is probably already it. Most of it, of course. I'm going to uh, get the media off that base of the plant. And that's basically it's what I'm going to do. So, and then we're going to follow these guys. And i probably going to show you within a few months that this one is, uh, will do fine. That's the plan, of course. So yeah, this is uh, for now everything. Uh, I'm going to check the other ones as well. And then we're going to put them up. I don't uh, want to mess with the roots anymore. So let me uh, give you an idea of the what I did take off. It's not much. All the loose media, well, all loose, some loose media I can't put in the one root. It was a uh, root with a growing tip, sadly, but it did break off. So, yeah, we have one growing tip less. But we had quite, on, quite a lot. Let's, let's grab the plant. So you can see it up close. Look at that. All new roots. So yeah, so this is how it looks, but it's in comparison not that much media, and it going it will grow. Uh, I will grow it in quite a uh, bit big bucket, so uh, the uh, the ratio should be fine. I don't think it will start to rot. So um, yeah, that's basically uh, how I do this. So yeah, I decided to uh, have a look at this one as well with you guys because I think I feel more room, so we can do more cleaning up with this one, I think. So therefore, it might be interesting to film this one. This uh, is uh, making a new growth over here and it's a little bit wobbly in a pot, especially this part. So yeah, this one uh, I want to have uh, out of the pot and have a look. And if it doesn't have much roots and it starts a flower spike, I probably will uh, cut it off. I, I, this, this plant is not as big. But very, I found it to be kind of wobbly, like I said, in a pot. So we need to uh, take it out and have a look. Oh. Try to pull it out and get hold of the pot quite easily. <laughs> but yeah, then to get them out again. Yeah. I'm going to cut this spot as well. And it looks like a fairly new root. Whoops. Oh, yeah. I see a growing tip. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Again, on the right time, but it's a little bit more loose in the pot so in that case you guys i try to get it off oh i'm sorry i thought i heard hear the noise uh in this case i'm going to try to get off more media because we have less roots we have more media and that organic media combined with the inorganic may give trouble so you need to get a bit of a feeling of the ratio of the inorganic media versus the uh I'm sorry, the 
Organic media versus the inorganic media. You need more inorganic media if you start cell watering. Yeah, it's with, uh, with experience. You probably start to uh, know the ratio. And yes, I only do this with cymbidiums. Keep that in mind. And look at that. We have... This might be flower spike. This one was growing downwards. So it's a good thing we did take this out of the pot. Can you see it? It's, I will, uh, let's, I will uh, show it to you guys in a second. This might be flower spikes, but... Uh, yeah, I think, and, and on this one, as on this side as well. But it has a good root system. Even though it's a little less roots than the one before. So I will see. I will keep an eye on this when I ha once I have the it uh, in the uh, new setup. If it does take too much energy, I will cut them off. I'm more interested in healthy plants growing in self-watering than the blooms in the end of the day. The blooms will come back. The plant will not. <laughs> if you don't uh, take care of it. As you should. Whoops. So I'm going to put it in the bucket as well. And see if you can soak off. Yes. Oh yeah, this works. So much better than the other one because, whoops. Once again, this one hasn't as much roots as the other one. So it's a bit easier to take off more media. And then, like I said, I will uh, get more off. But it's still a little bit wobbly. So downwards in the pot we have a lot of roots. So there I, I will not get as much media off. So they, the roots get down in the pot and then circled around at the bottom. So it's not completely filled. And that makes it a little bit wobbly. I, whoops, I hope you can see it. So you see, just be beneath my hand we have uh, quite some empty spaces. And then we have a lot of roots. So, um, yeah, but this is it. This is how I'm going to leave it. Let me see if I can, whoops, if I can show it to you. A little bit closer. There we are, but look at this, my thumb. Beautiful new roots, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. <laughs> so yeah, this one is in a growing state as well. And, whoops, here, let me see. This is a flower spike, I believe, plus this one. And then we have that strange thing that was going downwards. Uh, let me see. This, so you can see? This was growing in, in the, yeah, inside of the pot, going downwards. Looks to me, yeah, that might be even a flower. I'm not sure. Might be a flower spike or a new growth. Anyhow. I'm happy I did this repot, otherwise I wouldn't have found this one. So I'm going to leave it again. Quite some uh, organic media, but a, a little bit more gaps there, which allows me to put in uh, inorganic media. And then they should be fine. So I found that one to be interesting to share as well with you guys. So I'm going to clean up the mess here. Take the other one out and then we will uh, start our potting. At least one of them. I think uh, these two together and then we can have uh, a last look at all three of them. So yeah, you probably recognize it already, but we are back at my uh, up potting table inside of the orchid room. And uh, we did, uh, I did grab the one we did firstly on potting with uh, on the Ancia. So yes, you can see, uh, like we discussed, quite some roots. Beautiful uh, new roots growing. So this one uh, can do, uh, should do fine in the new setup. Uh, let me give you an idea of the way I'm going to pot this. Well, I'm, I have these uh, buckets laying around and I find I can use them. So they have quite some uh, room in there. I made some holes in it on the bottom and one bigger hole so I can put this water meter very easily as you can see <laughs> through there so that can uh, give me a measurement of the reservoir underneath this pot and that will make sense uh, later on well I can quickly grab the outer pot 
well, because I'm wearing my uh, wireless mi uh, mic. So you can see the part will not completely, the inner part will rest on these guys here. So it will not touch the bottom completely. So therefore I made that hole. So the water meter will touch the bottom. So I know how much water is underneath that pot. So therefore, because it doesn't touch uh, this one, the inner pot doesn't touch the reservoir completely. I also need, will you stay in there or not? I don't think so. I uh, also need the wicks. Well, maybe it will, um, will hang in there. It looks, does look a little bit strange, but it will not come out as easily. And I will have it in, uh, need it in there anyway. So I use these uh, long strings of uh, Cintiq st strings, which I need to pull through one of the, those other holes here. So let me do it. So we can uh, we create a wick on the meat pot. And it's always a little bit, but I have it here and there it is. I hope you can see it. There it is. So this is uh, enough to uh, let uh, it touch the reservoir. And because this is quite a big pot, I using two wicks. So I do this, as an, this another time. I will do this again, I should say. So find a hole that's big enough pull it through fairly easily. I tried to do this on camera, but I hope you can see it. And there it is. I'm pulling it through about the same length. There we go. So don't mind these two guys. So I put this one on the table and let me see. Yeah, I think I'm in the in frame. So that's good. Yeah, it will um, be a little bit in the way, the water meter now, but it's okay. Let me untangle these guys. So I will put a, a little a layer of the pumice down in the pot and I will only use the big pumice for this one, with, with the exception of the, the wicks, of course, made out of Cintiq, but that's everything. So just a little layer. So the roots, already existing roots, will not touch the reservoir uh, from the from of the from st from the start. They can grow in uh, downwards, of course, if they like to. Uh, and I hope this will fit because they have a little bit of a strange angle. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I don't have room for that uh, bottom layer. They are so tall, so I'm going to start again and then I just need to uh, not fill up the water, the reservoir completely. Keep an eye on this and just so I don't get these roots too wet too soon. In a few months when they, these new root tips grew on into the media or into the reservoir, it should be fine. But now, yeah, otherwise it will not go deep enough in. Yeah, this is better. But just, this is this uh, about the same height as the pot it came uh, out of. So that's why uh, I couldn't create a layer. Uh, so yeah, I will now fill, uh, fill it up just gently. Pulling this uh, back in the pot now. This is the pumice we just used. What I now do is I grab one of these uh, strains of uh, Cintiq, put it around just ha about halfway, and then I grab the other one and do the other half. So this helps to get the water wicking, wicking upwards to the uh, top of the pot. Next layer. So in the last layer, I use the most synthetic because that uh, that last layer will be more on top of the media where it might get otherwise a bit too dry. So just a little bit uh, synthetic now, halfway the pot, but more at the top of the pot. 
I hope that does make sense. But I will demonstrate it, obviously. Whoops. Uh, I didn't notice that. Oh, that's not very handy. Let me show you what happened here. So we have uh, this new growth here. So I'm going to zoom in quickly so you can see it. Don't get dizzy. Whoops, zooming out. Uh, let me move the camera a little bit. So here, I hope you can see it there. This is a new growth. You see, I did put it one meter just in front of it. Not so handy. So let me adjust that while we can. So I pull those leaves back. Oh, I need to zoom out a little bit more. So you can see of this older bulb grab them in one hand and I push the water meter just around those leaves so those leaves put it uh, keep it in place so it's a little bit in the an angle but it should be fine I think otherwise I need to do uh, the whole repot again I will not do that because I don't think it's necessary so let's hope I'm right mm -hmm. <laughs> zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing again but the same thing like earlier some Cintiq layer again here just half and i will have the last for a uh, for the top layer so i now fill this side up spot up like this, a little bit more here a little bit there like so and then we will do the last layer of Cintiq and you can probably see it it's now just around the base of the plant well uh, two centimeters uh, underneath the base I should say not touching the base I don't want to create any rut but just there just to uh, for those new roots to get hold on and to grow into it's uh, to promote those new roots I should say so so yeah we are getting there this beauty. Oops. So you can still see some media, that's okay. The uh, organic media I'm referring to here. And now I'm going to do some uh, pebbles on the top. Because I like the look of it, and they also help to uh, provide, provide uh, uh, to prevent a top dry layer. That's what I want to say. <laughs> prevent the pot from getting a top dry layer. I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm really trying to pay attention to what I'm doing, and it is very big and sometimes a little bit heavy, and I try to, to explain. So that's why I'm making up some sentence I think but I think you get an idea what I meant otherwise as always leave your questions in the comment section um, let me check what did I see there oh no I thought I saw a new growth there I was just I thought, well, that needs to be on top of the media, not in the media. And there we go. So let's grab that outer pot. It's a beautiful pot, very cheap pot. Oh, it has a sticker on it. I need to get those stickers off. I, I watch my videos and <laughs> I see the blooming updates, for example, and I see a lot of stickers on my pots. I shouldn't I should take them off because that looks nicer I don't uh, I'm not sponsored by anyone so uh, as long as they do not sponsor me I don't need to uh, let you guys know which brand I use all the time and at least oh, if you ask for it I will give you the name of the brand of course this one actually doesn't have a brand name let me check it's just a very cheap one anyhow moving on <laughs> Let's put it inside of her new pots. Outer pots. Let me grab my finger out of the way. Here is that water meter. And what I do these days, these days, I just take those off because they do not work all the time. And it's 
it's very annoying. Now I can just tap that red red thing here, that red meter, or I can grab it if it did get stuck. So if I just now nowadays take them out. And let me see, can you have a good look? I think so. This is how it looks. Let me put my head out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I really, really like like this setup. So beautiful. So I will do the other two and I will not film them because otherwise this, these videos will get way too long. Uh, and we will, uh, when I finish, I will uh, show all three of them. And then we can see what happens in a few, uh, maybe in a month or two. Uh, so I hopefully can see you that these are completely fine and really uh, do take over the pot as well with all those new roots. Let's go for that plan. I hope it works. <laughs> it should work. So we are back in the greenhouse and I really, really like the look of it. These beautiful gray pots and this beautiful new setup. I really enjoy it. So you may ask, oh, wonder why this is my oldest one. I have this for two, two and a half years now, but I don't have it in this gray pot. This is actually a self uh, semi-hydroponic semi setup. I will I have the two holes on the back, but you can see it's getting uh, quite some algae. So I, it's very hard for me to see the water level, if this needs uh, water or not. So therefore I really enjoy using these water meters, or water indicators, water meters, I co keep calling them. So when I put water in, this will, uh, that red thing we just earlier saw, will go upwards. And that's how I want to pot these as well. But I will do it in spring probably, because you may have seen it already, but we have a beautiful spike here, a big one here, another one there, and one here, starting to open up. So, uh, yeah, I will not uh, interfere now and it should be okay because this is used to the setup. But then again, I probably will break those spikes while I try to get it out of the pot. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to enjoy the blooms first and then I will deal with, uh, with the algae and a new setup later. But then I will uh, put it in uh, the same setup like I said. So I will not have as much algae in the pot. And I will do that with this one as well. Same story, shell watering, but you can see uh, same hydroponic, you can see the algae, and you see the holes there, uh, there, just above my finger. So it works, but then within a few weeks it's covered with algae, and uh, like I said, it's very hard to see how much water they need. So I keep flushing them a little bit too much. And I'm back, <laughs> my mic just fall off. Um, anyhow, but um, so yeah, I will uh, repot it, uh, that one as well. I have, I think, one of these uh, very large size pots, but I have smaller ones as well, so I can use a smaller one for that one. And then they are uh, all in the same type of pots, which uh, I personally enjoy. It makes it uh, a little easier to watch, if you ask me. So, uh, and I probably have, will have in the future a few more symbidians in front of those ones just in front of this shelf that I uh, did recently make because I really like the look of it with all the fells above them and yeah let's uh, make a lot of green over here and on occasion we will have those beautiful long spikes flower spikes is the plan so yeah that is it for now this is uh, the repot video of the, the symbidiums like i said we, we can uh, do an update within a month or two and see if we can see new roots on the side of the pots already um oh yeah before i forget because you saw i don't have a reservoir yet what i do is i will water them like i would when i didn't have uh, repotted them so i will give them a little bit of water if needed and I will watch those roots. If those root tips stay green and they continue to grow, then after a week I will uh, fill up the water reservoir. If I um, disturb them a little bit too much, I will wait until they start growing again and then I will fill uh, up the reservoir. So probably within one 
After three weeks, I will water them uh, like they uh, should be watered in self-watering. But because I may damage, have damaged some roots, I just wait because I created some wounds with the repotting and I just let it settle down, try to make them happy again. And then I will fill up the reservoir. So not straight away. I will wait a little bit, like I said, until they are settled in a new setup. I think that's very important for uh, this step. And I almost did forget, but I hope you did catch that because that's very important if you uh, try something like this. So that's uh, all said and done. I think I covered all. But as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. For now, thank you very much for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And of course, I really hope to see you at one of my next ones. Bye-bye.